Let's take a look at real life applications of graphs, tables, and equations. Have a look at this situation. Honey, no, honey roasted peanuts cost six dollars fifty per pound. And um, so let's see. We're going to have inputs, which will be. We'll do an input output table. Input out. Inputs will be number of pounds, LBS. Outputs will be cost. Okay, so if we buy zero pounds, one pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds. By zero pounds, the cost will be 650 times zero. Nothing, right? By one pound, it'll be 650 uh, times one. Six dollars fifty by two pounds. Six fifty times two, right? So go ahead and fill out the rest of the table. Pause is located in the bottom left of the screen. Full screen is located in bottom right. So go ahead and fill out the table. So this is going to be $13, this is going to be $19.50, and then this is going to be $26, right? So cost is in dollars. Now we're going to put this on a graph, an XY graph. The X is, X is always the horizontal axis, Y is always vertical axis. And we always have the input being X and the output being Y. Just standard procedure. So the first ordered pair is going to be X is 0, Y is 0. So 0, 0, that's right there. Then we've got 1, 650, 2, 13, 3, 19, 50, 4, 26. So we've got to think about our axes. Now, um, unless you have a really big piece of graphing paper, I mean this piece, I've only got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, Y lines in this quadrant. So what I'm going to do is scale the graph. And if I look at my pounds, um, they go from 0 to 4. Now 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 would bring me here. Whereas 26 is the maximum Y value, that would bring me way off the page. So if I scale the axes, then it'll help. So how about doing this? Make that zero, make this one, and then skip two, and make that two, and then skip two, and make that three, skip two, and make that four, skip two, and make that five. How about that? As for going from zero to 26, let's think about that. Well, hmm what comes to mind? Well, we want 26 to land up here around, around here, okay? So how about, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That'll probably work, won't it? So skip 2 and make 5, skip 2 and make 10, skip 2 and make 15. There's no set way of doing this, but just it makes it neater if we scale our graphs a little bit. So 0, 0 is here. Now 1, 6, 50. Let's find that point. 1, 650. Now this is this is where x is 1 on this line here. And this is 5. This is y is 10. So 650 is about here. Um, 2, 13. This is where x is 2. Now this is 15. This is 10. So 2, 13 is about there, isn't it? Um... Three nineteen fifty. Three nineteen fifty is about here. And four twenty six is about here. Okay? So you'll see these dots are in a straight line and what we need to do is get a ruler and draw a straight line through them. So I'm just gonna use this for now.
Okay. And um, there we go. Now, one thing we could do is is note this: if the input is zero, we go six fifty times zero. If the input is one, six fifty times one. If the input is two, six fifty times two. If the input is four, six fifty times four. So, if the input is x, what's the output going to be? Well, six fifty times x, right? So for no matter how many pounds you're getting to get the output, you just go 650 times x. So just for fun, let's note this, that the output, the y, is 650 times the input. And that's what we can label this graph as. Its output is 650 times the input. Now, let's see. So we could use the graph to estimate costs of, costs of things. For example, how much would two and a half pounds cost? Well, let's find two and a half on the x-axis. It's halfway between two and three. It's right here, isn't it? Then just go straight up to your graph. Hit the graph and then go horizontally back and just try and estimate what that is this is fifteen dollars this is twenty dollars so that looks like um, about sixteen isn't it so we can do some estimations over here two and a half pounds cost about sixteen dollars right how about, um, let's say, one and one quarter pounds? How much would that cost? One and a quarter is, this is one, this is two. One and a quarter is located right here, isn't it? So just go vertically up. So that's where one and a quarter is. Vertically up, hit the graph, and go straight back. Now, this is five dollars, this is ten. So this is about six, isn't it? No. Eight, maybe? Right. So one and a quarter pounds costs about eight dollars, right? So that's how we do estimations. Okay. Let's have a look at another example. A prepaid $5 phone card. Calls cost $0.04 cent per minute. Hmm, interesting. So we'll do an input-output table, first of all. And our input is going to be what? Calls cost $0.04 cent per minute. Input would be minutes, I would say, right? number of minutes and output would be what? It's a prepaid five dollar phone card. That means first of all the value on it is five dollars. Calls cost four cent per minute. So um, what the output what we want to look at is as we make more calls we have a value remaining and, and the, that, that decreases the more calls we make, the more minutes we use. Okay. So output was going to be the value remaining on the card, right? Value remaining. So if number of minutes is zero, the value remaining is simply going to be obviously five dollars, right? But let's see if we have. Um, if we make one call, what's the value remaining? Well, it's 5 minus 0 0.04 times 1, isn't it? If you, make, if you uh, talk for two minutes, the value remaining is what? It's $5 minus 8 cent, isn't it? Or $5 minus 4 cent times 2. 
and that's 492. This would be 496. Whoops. If you talk for three minutes, the value would be 5 minus 4 cent times 3. So that's $5 minus 12 cent, which would be $4.88 left on the card. So if we were to make the minutes go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. By the way, talk for no minutes, that's 5 minus 0 0.04 times 0. You'll have $5 left if you talk for 0 minutes, right? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we go up in 1s, we'll be here forever. Um, let's be clever about this. Uh, let's see. If I was to talk for um, 20, 30 minutes, um, we could do that. We could go up by every 30 minutes, maybe. That would be a dollar twenty. Yep. So after 30 minutes, for fun, and you can do it any way you like, but I'm just going to do 30 minutes and then 60 minutes and then 90 minutes, stuff like that. After 30 minutes, it's 5 minus 0 0.04 times 30. Okay, and that is going to be, and I guess I need a little bit more paper here. So that's going to be 5, and we'll just move it over here like that. 5 minus um, $1.20 which is 380 left on the card. After 60 minutes, 5 minus 0 0.04 times 60. So that's 5 minus um, 240, leaving us with 260. After 90 minutes, 5 minus 0 0.04 times 90. That's 5 minus um, $3.60. That leaves us with um, dollar forty, something like that. No, four nine is thirty six, isn't it? Yeah, dollar forty. After one hundred and twenty minutes, you got five minus zero point zero four times one twenty, which is five minus four dollars eighty. So you'll have twenty cent left. And 4 to 20 goes 5 times, so I think after 125 minutes it might be done, right? 5 minus 0 0.04 times 125. And that will leave us with $5 minus, and multiply these in your calculator, 5 minus 5, 0 minutes, okay? So, x is the input, y is the output. Okay, so to plot this information, we have our inputs here, our outputs here, and inputs are always uh, often usually donated to be X and outputs Y. So let's have a look at the points. We've got X0, Y5, X1, Y496. That's supposed to be 496. X2, Y492, X3, Y488. Hmm. After 30 minutes, we decided to, to go up in not just ones, but go up in 30s. After 30 minutes, the output is 380, and so on, until after 125 minutes, the output is zero. Well, let's see. Looks like we'll need to scale our axes, like in the last example. So, let's think about the x's. They go from zero to 125. Now, on my graph, I've only got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 10. So, um, let's think. Hmm, how should we do that? How about, what was this, 30, 60, 90, 120? That would be neat, would it? 0, 30, and then use this line for 60, this line for 90, and this line for 120. So there's no set, set way of doing it. I mean, you just try and make it neat as possible. Um, and, you know, so you just want to draw a clear graph. And that's what we're trying to demonstrate here. So the outputs go from 5 all the way to 380, 260, all the way to 0. So how should we label the y-axis? The minimum value is 0. Maximum value is 5. So how about this? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So we're skipping every two lines to make it look like that. 
Okay, so the first point is 0, 5. X is 0, Y is 5. That's right here. Then we've got 1, 496, which is 1, 496. It's, it's a little tiny dot in here. But have a look at this one. 30, 380. After 30 minutes, we got $3.80 left. It's about, this is 4, this is 3. This is 350, so 380 is about here. After 60 minutes, we've got 260 left. So 60 minutes on the x-axis. This is $3. This is $2. This is 250. So 260 is about here, isn't it? After 90 minutes, we've got $1.40 left. So 90 minutes. This is $1. This is $2. This is $1.50. So this would be $1.40. About there. After 120 minutes, we've got 20 cent left. So 120 minutes. This is a dollar. This is zero. So 20 cents is just above it. After 125 minutes, we've got zero dollars. So that's about there. Just after 120 and zero on the Y. So to draw a line through that would look like this. Okay, and let's estimate the graph for different inputs. Um, so after a hundred minutes, how much money would be left on the card? This is 90 minutes, this is 120. So 100 minutes, uh, let's see would be so 90, 100, 110, so it's about there. Okay. So after 100 minutes, go up and hit the graph, then go back, and it looks like about a dollar is left. So we're doing an estimate. After 100 minutes, minutes got about a dollar left, right? Uh, after, let's say, um, 50 minutes, what's left? 50 minutes is 30, 40, it's about, okay, about there, right? So we'll go straight up. Hit the graph, and is that a good estimate or not? So after 50 minutes, looks like we have $3 left. So what's left in the card? About $3. Um, is that confusing? Well, after 50 minutes, we went from 5 to 3, didn't we? So we used up $2. After 100 minutes, we went from $3 remaining all the way down to $1 remaining. So we use up another $2. So that's perfect. And you might, for fun, look at how, what, an, what an equation would look like for this um, table and graph. And the value remaining, the output, would equal $5 minus. And if we use 30, 60 minutes, it's $5 minus 0.04 times 60. If we use 90 minutes, $5 minus 0.04 times 90. So if we use X minutes, the output is 5 minus 0 0.04 times the input, no matter what the input is. The output is always $5 minus 0.04 times the input. So we can label our graph like that. And it looks like this. Y equals 5 minus 0 0.04 times the input. Okay.